In this video, we will see about synchronous motor. What is a motor? It's a machine that converts electrical energy into mechanical energy. Synchronous motor is a motor which will always run at synchronous speed. So, synchronous speed is given by 120F by P where F is the supply frequency and P is the number of poles. Let us see the features of synchronous motor. A synchronous motor, it is not a self-starting motor. It has to be run up to its synchronous speed by some arrangement. Synchronous motor will always run at synchronous speed and it can be operated under wide range of power factor. That is the main application of synchronous motor. It is used for power factor correction. If you see the construction of synchronous motor, it is similar to that of a three phase alternator. So it has a armature winding in its stator and the rotor winding has a field winding. So you have to give the DC supply for the field winding. When a three phase supply is given to the three phase winding of the stator, a rotating magnetic field of constant magnitude at rotating at synchronous speed is produced. Let us take a two pole stator. So you have north pole here and south pole here. So this uh, when you give the AC supply, these poles will be rotating at synchronous speed in clockwise direction. Now you take the rotor. Suppose initially it is in this position. Now here I have a north pole and here also north pole. So we know like poles will ripple each other. This stator north pole is rotating in clockwise direction. So this rotor will try to move away from this north pole because like poles will oppose each other. Here you have south and south. So if this stator pole is rotating in this direction, this rotor will move away. So, its direction is in anti-clockwise direction. Now, after half a cycle, because we are giving AC supply to the stator, after half cycle, this A point becomes south pole and this becomes north pole. Now, you look at the position of um, rotor. This is south and this is north. Here you have north in rotor which will be attracted towards the opposite polarity. So here the north pole and this south pole will try to align. So now the rotor is rotating in clockwise direction. So before half cycle it was rotating in anti-clockwise direction and after half a cycle it is rotating in clockwise direction. Let us see why synchronous motor is not self-starting. We have seen that in the first half cycle, the rotor is rotating in anti-clockwise direction and after half cycle, it is rotating in clockwise direction. In next half cycle, it again rotates in anti-clockwise direction. So, it is uh, subjected to rapidly reversing torque. That is, it is going in this direction for some time, then opposite direction for some time. So, due to the inertia of the rotor, the rotor cannot move. It remains stationary. So, we say that synchronous motor is not self-starting. Then, how to start a synchronous motor? We have seen that the stator poles change its position every half cycle. So, if the rotor also change its position according to stator, the rotor will experience a unidirectional torque. So, in the first half cycle, the north pole of um, stator and south pole of rotor is 
magnetically locked up. So they get attracted and it is in this position. In next half cycle, when the stator changes its position to south pole here, the rotor should also rotate along with the stator so that the north pole of um, rotor and south pole of stator gets linked here. So this can be done by using some external prime mover that is we are making the rotor to rotate at the same speed as stator so that locking occurs. What is the procedure to start the synchronous motor? First we have to bring the rotor to the synchronous speed by some arrangement. Then we have the field winding in the rotor give the dc supply for the field winding so that it will get this north and south polarity so once dc voltage is given the north pole of the rotor and south pole of the um, stator gets locked together because this is also rotating at synchronous speed at, at one position they get locked together so both rotor and stator run at synchronous speed in the same direction. There are different starting methods. One is using external prime mover, another one is using damper winding. So, when you are using prime mover, which is what we normally see in lab, another machine will be coupled to it, and using that, we are starting the synchronous machine. So, it could be either a three phase induction motor or a DC shunt motor can be used. Damper winding can also be used to start the motor. So, damper windings will be available on the rotor pole faces. So, this is the damper winding. So, this damper winding will be normally used for preventing the hunting or reducing the oscillations. So, whenever synchronous motor is subjected to load changes, there will be some oscillations. So, that will be prevented by using this damper windings. So, these windings can be used to start the motor. Initially, the rotor will be stationary and the stator flux is rotating at synchronous speed. So, due to this relative speed between the damper winding and the rotating air gap flux, an EMF will be induced which will produce the necessary starting torque. Near synchronous speed, the EMF and the torque will be reduced because the relative speed will be reduced. So, when magnetic locking takes place, the torque reduces to zero. So, the synchronous motor, first it will be uh, running as a in three phase induction motor using damper winding. After that, it will start to run at synchronous speed as synchronous motor. Let us see the applications of synchronous motor. They are used at substations and large industries to improve the power factor. And they are used to drive constant speed loads like fan, blower, centrifugal pumps. And they are used to control the voltage at the end of the transmission line by varying the field excitation. Now we will see the difference between synchronous motor and induction motor. We know both the motors are AC motors. So, synchronous motor is not a self-starting motor whereas induction motor is a self-starting motor. Synchronous motor always runs at synchronous speed while the induction motor always runs at a speed lower than the synchronous speed. Synchronous motor construction is complicated whereas induction motor has a very simple construction. Here we use double excitation that is um, for stator we give the supply and for rotor we give DC supply. For induction motor st stator alone we will give the supply. By changing the excitation the power factor can be varied from lagging to leading power factor in case of synchronous motor. But induction motor there is no possibility to change the power factor it always operates at lagging power factor. 
Synchronous motor is normally preferred as synchronous condenser so that it can be used for power factor improvement. Induction motor cannot be used for power factor in improvement. And hunting is a problem in synchronous motor which is not um, available in induction motor. Synchronous motor are costly whereas induction motors are cheaper and uh, synchronous motor requires more maintenance whereas induction motor requires less maintenance. So the points to remember here are synchronous motor is not a self starting motor it has to be run up to its synchronous speed by some method and it always runs at synchronous speed. Ns is equal to 120F by P where F is the supply frequency and P is the number of poles. It can be operated under wide range of power factor so it is used for power factor improvement. If you like the material do subscribe to read electric vehicle. Thank you.